This is a game I played on the Xbox when I was like nine. Like I'm, I'm excited for this. Oh, look at those graphics. Damn. Look at this high precision flash movie. Look at those water shaders. Oh my God. This game is the peak of perfection. I won't be far away. Wait, is this, is this Australia or is this Tasmania? Is Tasmania even a country? Wait, so I'm a tiger and I got these flower shorts on, nice flower bandana and a boomerang. But these kangaroos are just kangaroos. So how does that work? Is there like a race of intelligent animals and a race of stupid ones? Do we prey off of them? How does how does the system work? Why do I jump so high? Apparently I can I can munch. I can munch on stuff. Speaking of munching, let's munch on into today's sponsored segment, yeet. This video is sponsored by Stake.com. Stake is a premier cryptocurrency betting site that supports major currencies as well as some altcoins. Stake is from the owners of Prime Dice, which is one of the biggest crypto gambling sites out there. They have game modes like Roulette, Blackjack, Mines, Crash, Dice, Diamond Poker, and a bunch more that aren't shown in here. Honestly, guys, I have played on the site and I do like Plinko the best, but that's just me. I'm a little prices right ass nerd, so that, you know that, that's my thing. Anyways, withdrawing is just as easy as depositing. All you do is you put in your crypto address and you send your credits right on out back to your account. It's really simple, and I hope that you guys will check it out. Anyways, back to the video. This billabong has got the lot. What does that mean? What the fuck is that? So we gotta get these little shining ball things, and then I'm not really sure what happens. We can jump super high though, so that's neato. All right, this is the first real platform in the game. Will I be able to scale it? Is that, oh, that was my only way up. What are those? Are those even real? Are those people with masks or are those real lizards? What is that? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? What are you, they stopped chasing me. This game is so easy where I'm the best. I don't, I don't think this is supposed, I don't think this is supposed to happen. But it, it's happening. Okay. All right. So we got we're, we're playing a big badass tiger thing. Like, look at this man. He's got he's got war paint on his face. Okay. Look how this dude swims. Are you fucking kidding me? He shakes himself off like a goddamn wet dog. M my hero is a pussy. My favorite thing about the combat in this game is that you can just throw your boomerang in a general direction, and more often than not, it hits somebody. Like it'll just it'll get there. We just gotta be patient. See? See that? It'll hit him. You just gotta throw it in his direction. This might be the best game I've ever played in my whole life. I wanna know what these little tomato aioli things are. I wanna know what's going on here. I never really understood how the hero-villain dynamic worked in games like this, cause like, I'm trying to save my little friends in cages, and I'm trying to beat up these bad guys, but at the same time, I'm out here killing people. Like, these dudes might have wives and kids, and like, I'm just throwing my boomerang into them all willy-nilly. It kind of just comes back to like a conflict of interest. Like, who whose cause is more noble? Like, I don't understand this. Like, am I really a hero out here if all I'm doing is slaying other people? I just, that doesn't make sense. Like, I have a whole team of scientists helping me to become the best killing machine possible. That, that just, that something doesn't sit right. Give me that power up, bitch. That's right, someone left their boomerang sitting in this rock and I'm just gonna steal it. Now I have two. It's a he hero villain dynamic. What the hell? I do not remember this from my childhood. Why am I going Super Saiyan? What just happened? What is this? What is happening? I am a murdering machine. Always, che always check behind the waterfalls. Oh, look at that. Always, bitch. Always. I'll take that. Wait, what, how do I take this? Oh my god, I'm Sonic Unleashed! I just turned into Sonic Unleashed! Don't unsub for me. Join my Discord instead, please. It's in the description. Please join. Oh, I found it. Oh, I found it. Let me see that. At last. Is this the villain? This is the main villain of the game. I'm on. I gotta say, I'm underwhelmed. I didn't. I didn't think he'd be uh so bald. All right, baby. We out here in the rainforest. We about to get wet and wild. Let's get it. Ooh. We got a foxy mama, but she kind of looks like Steve Irwin. I don't. I don't like that. Hey, let's go save that fine Sheila from her car troubles. I got a pipe wrench that'll fix all her problems, baby. Right, sometimes I wonder, like, is this what the real rainforest is like? Because if so, man, I want to go. I'm just surfing on water right now. There's, there's just nothing to it. No, don't grab it. Don't grab it. 
Don't grab that shit. That's a trap. I'm tell. Yep, I told you. I told you. We got a dumb looking bird here. That's a trap. Shouldn't have waited. Dumbass. I'm not. I'm not chasing you. That bird can have that. <laughs> See, I lied to the bird. I told him that I wasn't gonna chase him because I wanted to boost his self confidence enough that I wasn't gonna grab him so that he would uh, he would slow down a little bit and then I could keep up with his speed. See that? See how that works? Come on, you stupid ass bird. What? I, I touched him. What do you mean? Do I just have to wait two hours for him to shit it out? Or do I gotta sneak up on him? Do I have to sneak? Is this a life lesson? Nope. I swear to God, bro. If this bird doesn't give me this stupid egg thing, I'm uninstalling the game. Like, I'm not I'm not playing these games. How do I... Do I have to bite him? Do I have to kill the bird? I think that's what I might have to do. I may have to kill this bird. Eat my ass. I got him! Oh my God, I literally... I literally just slaughtered that bird. Like, with my teeth. I fucking slaughtered him. I am not the hero. Oh God, I love these upright camera angles. Especially in these old games. It's like the controls are so sloppy, they barely work. Like, oh my god, this is, this is so much fun. This is phenomenal. This is, this is how games should be made. That was awful. One of my biggest complaints about this game is that you have so many lives that you are literally able to just take hit after hit and nothing happens to you. All right, ready, right? Like, I have six hearts right now, and I can get hit four times with those six hearts. That means I can get hit 24 times before I get a game over. Also, I have aim lock with my boomerangs, and the AI in this game are incredibly stupid, so there isn't really much that can kill me. So I'm, I'm not really digging that aspect of this. I think this game was a lot more of a challenge when I was seven. Oh, I finally made it to Steve Irwin. What's bracken, cuz? Alright, this this Jeep does not look like it just broke down. This Jeep looks like it's been here since 1984. Alright, Michael Jordan was in college when this Jeep got parked here. This is not right. I'd just like to go on the record to say that I am the king of sports. I have never watched a day of baseball in my life, but somehow I knew that Michael Jordan was in college in 1984. So, uh, to all the haters out there, to everyone who doubted me in high school, to all my teachers said I'd be selling washers and dryers when I was 20, yeah, fuck you. I made it, baby. I know everything about sports. They're trying to get you attracted to a tiger. This is this is why everyone's a furry in 2018. So Taz the Tasmanian Tiger is a game that I held really near and dear to my heart when I was young, but I honestly have to say I really didn't enjoy it the second time around. When I was a kid, I had this game for the Xbox, and I remember it as like a really fast-paced, riveting platformer, but even just from the stupid mini games with the boulder, I, it just doesn't really sit that way anymore. If you go back and play like some of the original 3D Sonic games, they were actually semi-decent. They even got games like The Simpsons Hit and Run Right. Oh yeah, that's fun. That's a fast time right there. I don't think this is a bad game, but I think honestly, I had too many expectations going into it because of my previous experience with this game as a kid. Now, all things considered, this franchise was extremely successful back in the day, and there's like four or five of these titles, and I'm sure that they improved upon a lot of stuff in the next few. So if you guys do wanna see me play more of those, let me know. But this specific one, the original Tie the Tasmanian Tiger, it's just not really a game that, that struck a chord with me like I thought it would. All in all, if I had to like put this game on a scale, I you know, it, it's not a 10, but it's not Mario Tennis. Do with that what you will. Have a great day. Before you say